your name? Kevin. Kevin? I'm Nehemiah, man. Nice to meet you. You believe, you, huh? At ease, at ease, my bad. Um, you believe in God, right? You believe in God? Give me Exodus 31 and 18. 31 and 18, bro. 31 and 18. Believe in God. Kevin. Read that for me. You got it? Yes, sir. The book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. Uh -huh. And he gave unto Moses. You know who? Unto Moses. Do you know who Moses is? Are you familiar with Moses? All right, read. When he had made an end of communing with him uh -huh. upon Mount Sinai, uh -huh. two tables of testimony. Which are what the Ten Commandments were written on, correct? Read. Tables of stone uh -huh. written with the finger of God. Written, written with what? The finger of God. Now those two tables, right? Uh, those commandments that was written on them stones, you now find them where? In the Bible, right? So if you believe in God, this these scriptures, there's no confusion at all. No interp no private interpretation. You understand what I'm saying? Those two stones, commandments were written on, written on them, those two stones, two stones which are now the laws and commandments what we abide by today, right? Now the sister also, she mentioned, said that uh, during her spirituality, uh, she basically we gotta love each other. She governed herself. There was nothing to govern, uh, nothing to uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nothing to gauge the the things that she so-called the right doings of based off her spirituality. Give me Revelation. The Book of Revelations, chapter twenty and verse twelve. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books. We're open. So this is the this is when the Most High is gonna call us up, and He's going to what judge us based off our works. Compared, I mean, and uh, uh, based off our works according to the Scriptures. Read. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, which is which is the Bible. Read. And the dead were judged out of those that uh, excuse me out of those things which were written in the books. According to their works. According to their what? Their works. According to their works. According to the things that they did that was that was not contrary to the scriptures that what the Father t um, instructed us to do. You understand what I'm saying? So the things that you do on this on, throughout your daily life, right? If they're not married up to the scriptures, if they he, he got this, he got the your book of life and uh, the uh, the book of life and your works, right? And they don't marry up with. The Most High has instructed us to do. Do you think he's going to be mad about that? Or that's going to be a check or an X mark? You understand what I'm saying? If he's grading you, like, if he's grading you on your performance, right? He's grading you on your performance. And you did none of the things that he instructed you to when, he looking at you, when he's marrying up the two, the book of life and your works, right? If they don't marry up, then what? You're getting, you're getting minuses. You know what I'm saying? You, you, no, you did bad, my son. You understand what I'm saying? But based off what she was teaching, spirituality, she had nothing to govern that. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing. She wanted us all to be on one accord to do, think, to 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 uh, what? Go back and go back into the Vatican and take our records back, right? But for us to be a people, for us to be a nation, we got to have some guidelines that govern us. That's right. Right. So how can I expect you to have my back if you're a pedophile and I got kids? That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Bring it up. You understand know what I'm saying? Bring how, it up. how can if we don't agree on something? How can we stand? It, it, it won't it won't it won't work bro all this love we must love we don't even love yourself when's the last time you called a sister of bitch you understand what i'm saying someone looked just like you had the same type of texture of hair but yet i don't like this or that ain't no good you understand what i'm saying but these things are in the scripture the, the father has provided baselines for us to to come together that's why we stand together you understand what i'm saying my brother right here got all God fearing me. I ain't got to worry about them touching my kids. You understand me? I don't got to worry about them going in my pocket. Right. I can leave twenty dollars on the table, have my company over, my brothers over and sisters over, and not worry about that twenty dollars sitting on that right. table. That's, That's right. right. You understand what I'm saying? But you can't do. How many people can you do that with? Right. Without these laws? Bring it out. Very few, right? right? But this is what's gonna bring that peace, bro. This is what's gonna bring that that peace to your conscience, man. I ain't gotta worry about it. It's a lot of things that we ain't gotta worry about no more. Let's go. A lot of things we ain't gotta worry about no more. Go to um Exodus 20, 20, 60. What would you about to bring? No, what you got? Read that. The book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Read. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. This is God's definition, not the world's definition. 
Because when you think of the world's definitions, it's all, oh, mm, mm, hug, kiss, and then that nigga. As soon as you turn your back, now you, now you dogging me out. You dogging me out. As soon as you turn your back, but you just gave me a pound. Right? Now you just you biting my back off. Now you just, you gossiping up around me, but when we in each other's face, it's nothing but love. Yeah. Is that really love? No. I ain't reading from the top again. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments, uh -huh. and his commandments are not grievous. So if you love God, if we love each other, I'm going to provoke my brother to keep the commandments. That should not kill, but that, that should not steal, right? You lay with that sister, you must marry that sister. You understand what I'm saying? How are we going to build a nation, bro, if if we got no father in the home to raise these children? That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We're, we're divided. Yeah, but these laws is what's going to bring us back together. And build that, and build that nation. You know, and that's when we truly build it, bro. When you when you sitting and you come to the school, hopefully today, 4 o'clock, every Sabbath, huh? Plan on being a little willing, bro. You're going you gonna to be able to build your first brick. Right. Of your nation. You got any kids? You got kids. So, you coming to the Sabbath will be your first brick. We building the brick uh, right now. Right now, bro. Come to the school and reinforce that thing, bro. Reinforce your house. You um. So, you got, how many kids you have? Three? Uh, um, the woman? Same woman? Y'all married? Hey, man. Exit 2216. This is, this is uh, the, the beginning of building a... Huh? Uh... Okay, well check this out, man. This is this is the beginning of building a kingdom, man, and stopping this cycle, bro. This uh baby mamas and baby fathers, bro. We ain't gonna go nowhere with that. Read that from Exodus 22 and 16. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid, if a man entice a younger woman, right, of marrying age, read. That is not betrothed. Hold on, when you entice us, when you spit game to her, when you mad to her, you like, hey, man, I think your eyes are beautiful. You know, let's go to the movies. The things that you say before the kids was produced. You understand what I'm saying? That's enticing the maid. Read from top again. And if a man entice a maid uh -huh. that is not betrothed. That means she's not promised to anyone to be married, which the world would call engaged. Read. And lie with her. You lie with her. Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Now that is a commandment for the Most High God, bro. He never, he never meant for us to be baby fathers, man. That's right. He wants to be there so we can guide our children, right? Leave a lineage, leave a heritage. You know what I'm saying? Leave something with that child. So when you go, he's gonna put on daddy's shoes. He's gonna have stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna make you proud because he's gonna do the same thing that you're doing. Right, you know? Do you want your, do you want, hi, you said how many kids? Three, right? Are they all boys? Two girls and a boy. So would you want anyone just laying up with your, with your daughter? You would want her to be married, right? Right. To a brother like yourself or even better than you. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to take care of your baby. That's right. Right? But that's going to start with you, man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Or even the male himself. Do you want him, to be, all of us, we want our men, our, our sons to be better than we are. Right, but I'm gonna give him a high a bar. I'm gonna raise the bar up so high. I'm telling you, bro. You understand? But still, he has to succeed. He has to see. Uh, he has to. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Succeed over that. Um, read it again. Just read it again. Verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Um, get um. All right, now this is, and now we're about to go through, so when you have these children, it's things that you must teach these children, right? While you're learning, you're teaching them what you're learning, right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children, unto thy children, and shall talk to them, excuse me, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and... When thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So 24-7, bro. You got spay, you walking. Hey son, what's the fourth commandment? Quiz him. You got the in order for you to quiz him, you got to know him yourself. That's right. right. It says, when thou rise up, hey, let's, let's pray, or whatever you, you handle your house. But son, this is what I want you to study today. You know what I'm saying? But it's the it's it's the commandments, and this is you're instilling. 
God's laws in him, and, and he's going by you doing these things, he's going to grow up righteous. But it starts with you, bro. Read it again. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. This is the thing right here, bro. But what we fail to uh, realize is that these scriptures, man, these laws is what is our protection. And all this wickedness that takes place in this world, these shootings, these thefts, these rapes, you understand what I'm saying? This is, is our safe haven. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's like, say like uh, Friday night. Friday night, right? People like to go out, they got just got paid. Friday night just got paid. Had to go out in club, right? Drink, alcohol, women uh, dressing in modest, showing off all their body. You understand what I'm saying? But when liquor is involved, then that's what? It's fighting, shooting. But if you obey this one law, you won't even be involved in that madness. Say like if you was just on the strip and someone started shooting Friday night, right? And they straight hit you, your daughter or your son, right? But if you was keeping this law right here, you wouldn't even be in the vicinity. That's right. You wouldn't even, if you was observing this one law, you wouldn't even be in the vicinity. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. Keep going. Go to, uh, go to Exodus. Give me the side. Give me the side. This one law will keep you out of a whole lot of trouble, bro. You got that for me? Read that for me. <clears throat> The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day, uh -huh. which is today, right? The Sabbath, read. To keep it holy, uh -huh. six days shalt thou labor. Uh -huh. Six days you shall work, read. And do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day, which is today, read. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. Uh -huh. Thou, nor thy son, mm -hmm. nor thy daughter, uh -huh. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So on this on this day, this day, right? It starts from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So if the club was popping Friday night, oh no, dog, no sundown, no dog. It's the Sabbath, bro. We gonna be in the house. Then, 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 then what you about to say? Yeah, right, you got that. Right, check this out. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh. And God called the light day, uh. and the darkness he called night. Uh. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So the day began, the new day began it when it was dark. And then it ends, then the next day come in when it's dark. You understand what I'm saying? So Friday night, you were been in the house. You know, I'm not supposed to be out in there foolishness. You're not supposed to be buying, selling, working. You probably be preparing your house, you can't cook, but you can have sandwiches, pots of salad. You know understand what I'm saying? You can do all these things to prep for the Sabbath, but you would not be out amongst the heathen doing the things that they're doing. By you keeping these laws, you're separate, man. You're holy. It's things that you it's things that you're gonna do that they don't do. It's things that they're gonna participate in that you're not gonna have any part of. All because you're keeping the laws. Right. Just that one commandment broken keep out of vicinity of foolishness, bro. You and your family. Keep the side before them, man. So hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew It's how odd 
For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's how I'm man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.